Here we are in a house that had a toilet leak, caused a substantial amount of damage in the front office area. Water came from in this direction, traveled out towards the front of the property. Destroying everything in the nice entry. Water all the way over here. And they pulled up the floors. We can see we'll set the setting to masonry. And you can see it has an extremely elevated moisture reading. Go back over here by the front door. Elevated moisture reading because this masonry thin set isn't dry. And you see that the board is just turning to dust from water contact on the staircase. So you can see there's elevated moisture. Let's change this to wood. Oh, elevated moisture reading. Isn't too high. Come over here, in the hallway, and change the setting again. Wish that did that automatically, but it does not. And you see, elevated. Elevated. Then we come over here. Massively elevated, almost 30%. 20%. Nobody's hurting that dog, it just wants in. <laughs> Even in the laundry room on the tile. Because, as you can hear, let's see if I can get my pocket knife out here for you real quick. Let's about the fingers and the lens. There's hollow tile, which has allowed moisture to get trapped underneath there. So let's keep going. Let's change this to softwood. 17% there on the studs. This is the direction that the water came from. We are only at 8% over here. 10%. And we go to my thing again. We're at 29%. 17%. It's just flaking up the glue is all completely done. This is the master. You can see it's still severely elevated. 22%, 18 17.7%, 29% on the tile. Fifty two percent in this area, forty three percent here. This is where the leak originated from, and as you can see, they didn't even bother to take that into the baseboards or anything else. Got an elevated overloading machine there. All right. So they did a pretty decent job in here. But it's only been the baseboards removed. You can even see where the water came through there. There, but all that's just drywall, they just removed the baseboard. Except for here, where you can't see back there, but they actually moved the drywall into the garage. These areas do not have drywall. These areas do not have elevated mushrooms. They are where they should be. So, the major issue is the drywall that's had water contact and hasn't cut it out. Shut this door. Change this again. Alright. See, got slightly elevated. Now. Nope. All that looks good. Said proper time to dry, but everything else is starting to fall apart. This is not the proper way. You can't get it right in there as you can see, but there's lots of growy growy stuff in there in that dark space. You can't get to it. Because as you can see, we'll now do a flow pattern. Well, water came out of this area, 
went underneath that door, flowed into the garage, flowed that direction, flowed this direction, underneath the vanity, out into the hallway, out into the master, underneath this flooring, underneath the vapor barrier, all the way across that flooring, all the way across this, went underneath this vapor barrier, traveled all the way through to the other side of the living room, also went this way, traveled this way, also into this massive closet that doesn't look as big as it actually is, but it's really, really big. Well, I went that direction out the garage. As you can see, it came out this direction because this water is wet. This is the back of that closet area. Water went that way. Water also went this direction. Water's all wet. Baseboard's removed. Or, uh, travel's all wet. Baseboard removed. But they didn't take out any of this flooring. You can see that this plate already has rust on the bottom of it right here. From being exposed, same thing there. So all this flooring is testing high. All of it, all the way across here, all the way around, all in those rooms, all of this is testing high. So we can, you know, show you right here, 23%. Go over here on this tile into the kitchen where they said there wasn't any moisture. And you can say 27.6%. All right, change this, last one. almost 16% in areas. So these have all had moisture underneath it. There's elevated moisture levels. The insurance company and adjusters and previous contractors have all come out here and said that this property has already been mitigated, that nothing else needs to be removed. But as you can see, all of this has incredibly high moisture levels. The laundry room and, and the uh, master bedroom overloaded some of the equipment. So. You need to make sure you check everything out, get yourself a moisture meter, deal with all of these things appropriately. If you need help, feel free to reach out. Leave a Hall of Ventures for you guys at R-E-I-G-U-I-D-E-S-E-R-B-I-C-E.com. Leave a Hall of Ventures, be blessed, bless others, and just deal with these problems as they come. If you need help, feel free to reach out. I'm always available. Thanks. Have a good day.